All right, backhand Luke here. And today we've got the Sega Blast City, and I figure we could put in this game here. Daimakai Muda, or Ghouls and Ghosts. So, let's pop this on and play some of that. I figured I'd do something a little bit stupid here for the intro. <laughs> a lot of people think that I say backhand, so I figured I'd go with it once. But, as you can see here in the beginning of the game, there is... Uh, no sound. Uh, it doesn't have any sound effects to it. It's just kind of like watching a silent film. And it's like that throughout the entire intro. Once you get into the game, it's got sound effects and sound, things like that, but... I'm kind of going to be playing this on an angle here, since I got the camera basically right in the middle, so... This game can be a little bit tricky if you're not, like, sitting directly in front of it, but we'll give it a shot. Let's see how well we can do and there's our intro, so pop in some coins here, start it up. Alright, here we go. So, for those of you who watched that last video that I put up, I had mentioned that this is a game that I've wanted to get for a very long time and have in my collection. And luckily I was able to get it. However, uh, this is the conversion cart, uh, the conversion board. And one of the biggest differences with the conversion here is that the sound effects are not dead on. Sound effects sound a little bit too high pitched and sound a little bit rough. And I think that's what takes away from the game itself. If the sound effects on here were perfect, I think it would be fantastic. I would think there's nothing wrong with these conversion ones, but with the, uh, the conversions, you definitely lose out with the sound effects. And I think the sounds are pretty much the main thing for a game. You gotta have really good sounds, sound effects, or else uh, it takes away from the gameplay a lot. But... You can probably hear here in the trees, um, the sound effects sound a little bit like blah. But other than that, I mean, the game plays fine. It plays really well, actually. And uh, if it did have perfect sound, I think a lot more people would be making these conversions. But I think that's the one thing that probably keeps people from making them so much or picking them up over the originals. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, some people will say that this is the easiest game in the series, but uh, I think it depends on how many uh, of the games you've played and uh, you know what, what level of difficulties you've played them on, because this one can still be very challenging. And this is where the sound effects really get bad. In fact, they kind of get so bad that uh, they actually bother me a lot. that just that crackly scratchy sound that's what takes away from it the most I think but uh, if you've never played this particular arcade version I'm sure you've played many of the other versions that are out there there are so many uh, this game was released on so many different platforms. It was released on the Mega Drive, the Master System, the uh, PC Engine, uh, the Super PC Engine, the... what else? Sharp X68000, the... Yeah, the arcade. Just tons of platforms. Tons of uh, different places where you can play this game here. But uh, this is by far one of my favorites. It's 
Sorry if I'm not talking too much here. I'm trying to concentrate. I'm <laughs> trying to play on an angle here too. Like, ah! I'm trying to remember where the pits are as well. That's the hardest part. Falling and dying. <laughs> I think this one might be a power up. Yeah, there we go. Ah! Come on, go! <laughs> A wonderful sound, uh, you know, for the music. It's just those sound effects that are the worst. Come on. Ah, die. Problem is, he'll follow me all the way through here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Oh well. At least we don't have to worry about him anymore. That was kind of a cheap way to do it, but oh well. Yeah, some people who played this game many, many times and uh, know the ins and outs of it will say that it's quite easy. And, uh, you know, if you watch some of the really good players, you can see that they can get through it quite quickly. But, uh, yeah, we <laughs> totally lost track of what I was trying to say. Ah. Second boss here. This is like one of my favorite stages. I've always liked it ever since uh, I played it on the old Mega Drive, Sega Genesis. There's a lot of different weapons that you can pick up in the game, but for me, I like to have the uh, either this or the um, kind of like the shield looking items. Those are the, the two that I like the most. Oh. through this mess. No! I'm not gonna make it. No! Ah! Dead. <laughs> ah! That one had to go a little bit quicker there. But as you can see, I mean, graphics-wise, the game is... it looks pretty nice. It's just the random uh, sound issues. I'm surprised I've been able to make it this far, <laughs> playing it on an angle. <laughs> uh. Uh, that's not going to help in this stage. Help me! Help me! I'm running! Come on, get over there. I'm not gonna do it again. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, anyway, just wanna show you guys a little bit of what uh, Daimaka Imuro or Ghouls and Ghosts looks like here for the arcade. And as you can see, I'm doing pretty poorly, but nonetheless, it's, uh, it's not a bad board for the price. If you find a, uh, a real board, I would totally recommend picking it up. If not, you can play it on one of the several 
different platforms this game was released on. And uh, although there may be some similarities and uh, some differences, all in all, you'll probably be able to have the same experience as playing it here. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching.